my best. Guardian Field! All right, let me at him. All right, let me at him. One more. Tiger Blade! Huh, take this! Look sharp. Take this! Look sharp. Take this! Flaming Meteor! I'm ready. One more. Deny! This one's mine. Uh, no chance. Surprise! Too slow. I'm gone. Light up the dark. I'm ready to go. Going in. Light up the dark. Coming through. In a bind? 
Elusive deity! Resonate with the Earth! Stalagmite! I'll face you! Now it's mine! You missed! You're mine! Ha! Take this! Elusive deity! Begin! Can you take it? Does it hurt? How's this? Begin! Not so fast! Elusive deity! Tornado drive! Begin! Your mind! Resonate with the earth! Stalagmite! The earth throbs in pain. Can you take it? You dare strike me from behind? Stalagmite! Can you take it? You're mine! Ah! Now it's my turn! Can you take it? Elusive deity! I'll face you! Tornado drive! Not so fast! Can you take it? Tornado drive! Your mother! Resonate with the earth! Stalagmite! Resonate with the earth! Stalagmite! Our arts are being interrupted! It's time! How's this? I'll face you! Not so fast! Elusive deity! Begin! I'll face you! How anti climactic! Not so fast! Resonate with the Earth! Stalagmite! Can you take it? Take this! Elusive deity! Tornado drive! What? Can you take it? You're mine! Not so fast! Elusive deity! Behold! The Earth's pulse! Tectonic vision! In a bind? Can you take it? Resonate with the Earth! Stalagmite! Not so fast! Elusive deity! Begin! I'll face you! Ah! Resonate with the Earth! Stalagmite! I'll face you! Not so fast! Can you take it? My reach is even wider! Heal! Not so fast! Elusive deity! Ha! Tornado drive! Elusive deity! Begin! It's time! In a bind? I'll face you! Tornado drive! Take this! Resonate with the Earth! Stalagmite! Not so fast! What? Begin! Elusive deity! Tornado drive! Take this! Benediction light! Heal! Resonate with the Earth! Another incantation ruined! Your mind! Elusive deity! Can you tell? Begin! Take this! Begin! Not so fast! I'll face you! How's this? I am not beyond fury! Benediction light! Heal! Benediction... Prepare to be sealed! Heal! Benediction light! Heal! How's this? Instincts you miss! Begin! Can't get out of this! Elusive deity! Can you take it? How's this? Tornado drive! Can you take it? Elusive deity! Tornado drive! How's this? Begin! I'll face you! Can you take it? Tornado drive! Not so fast! Begin! Your mind! My reach is even wide! You missed!
<sighs> okay. Seriously? Okay, off we go. Mahogsar. That makes four out of the five realms that I've visited now. I wonder what kind of lord we're gonna find there. It doesn't matter. If they try to get in our way, we'll take them down and that'll be that. <sighs> I should probably think about tonight's menu. I didn't realize there was a pond here. Yeah, this is Taka Pond. And it happened to have saved my life once upon a time. What do you mean? As a kid, I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to. It's terrible to swim in, but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Ren and Eyes. Bear in mind, our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food to survive. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. Here, let me show you how it's done. Wouldn't it be easier to simply use astral arts to catch the fish and be done with it? That misses the whole point of going out to fish.
Hey, what do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. I've got something. Well, that wasn't much of a challenge. Guess it's important to stay calm. Ha! Oh, we've got a lively one. This fish is way bigger than I was expecting. Stars above! That's got to be a new record! Where should I cast my line? Wouldn't it be easier to simply use Astral Arts to catch the fish and be done with it? That misses the whole point of going out to fish. <laughs> oh! We've got a lively one! I didn't think I'd catch something this big. Oh, yeah! I've got something. Anybody could reel in that. Guess it's important to stay calm. Hey, what do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. <clears throat> Reel it in. Boy, that's a bit of a letdown. You take your fishing pretty seriously.
Not my lucky day, I guess. <clears throat> I didn't think I'd catch something this big. Stars above! That's gotta be a new record! Where should I cast my line? Reel it in. Boy, that's a bit of a letdown. Could have been worse. At least you caught something. And that's all there is to it. Wow. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Kisara? I think I've seen enough. Oh, oh, sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. That's how fishing goes. You wait for a bite, and then the real battle begins. Magal told me that different fish live in different regions, and you have to pick the right rod and lure for what you're hoping to catch. But that doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. When you put it like that, maybe it's worth me trying my hand at fishing after all. You're just in it for the food. I was hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicente. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. Okay!
I'm always amazed what healing arts can do. Just doing my job. No need to thank me. Is it just me, or have those two barely spoken a single word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Megal, is it really any wonder? Kind of puts a damper on the whole journey, though, huh? How long do you think they're gonna keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask them? Why do I have to ask? How come you walk together like that? Uh, she really doesn't beat around the bush. You mean Kisara and myself? You hadn't noticed? You've been practically joined at the hip ever since we left Vicent. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? Having guards doesn't necessarily mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so, it's not like they're entirely wrong, Kisara. You're no longer in my employ, after all. I don't know. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't serve him anymore. It isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You know, she's probably right. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I guess it wouldn't hurt to rethink our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought, after all. Does that sound all right by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for every little thing while you're at it. <laughs> Sorry. It's not that easy, shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it. I've noticed that sometimes we come across enemies who fight like you and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys! I can get some hits in when they move in to attack, but otherwise they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. Try to outclass them on reflexes? I possess the ability to command Earth Elemental Beings to some extent. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Huh? Uh, what he means is that he can make plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. I'm glad at least one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Doholim handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help. Doholim's fighting style is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued? No... Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh ren and cloth. And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position of a lord. You flatter me. But my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? To avoid unnecessary movements? No, I do that to sharpen my senses. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Guess that's why. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? Then, it'll be just as well. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue.
I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. Why are you looking at me like that? That armor you wear is standard issue for the Menensean Guard, right? Originally, I've added some flair to it in a lot of places. I noticed, especially with that open back. We Guardsmen pride ourselves on never showing our back to our enemies. It's my way of making myself live up to that. Plus, it makes it that much lighter and easier to maintain. Hmm. Dohalim, do you have anything to say about this? Every Guardsman is allowed to wear their armor as they see fit. And you, La? Huh? Why are you asking me? This looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. Mind if I join you, Law? Hmm? Oh, hey, Alfin. What's up? Nothing. I was just surprised to see you weren't training for once. Got a stomach ache or something? Uh, you know I don't literally train around the clock, right? I do take breaks. Do you? It seems like you're training every chance you get. Well, yeah. It can't be helped if I want to get stronger. Still, it's important to let your muscles rest every now and then. That's what my dad told me anyway. Zephyr said that? When I was a little kid, yeah. I would get so excited whenever he came home. I always followed him wherever he went and tried to learn as much from him as I could. He said, it's good to be passionate, but don't overdo it. Just like there are times when you want to take a break from studying, sometimes your body wants to take a break from training, too. I was always rushing around and forgetting to rest, so he ended up telling me that a lot. <laughs> that definitely sounds like him. It's nothing to get sad over. Still, I can't help but wonder if that was my dad's way of teaching me the dangers of rushing into things too quickly. Then again, maybe I'm just overthinking things. I wish I'd had more time to talk to him about this kind of stuff. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. You guys ready to hit the road? I know I am. <laughs> 